Hi, I'm Corey Barker, and in this short video, we're going to talk about how to take a character created in Adobe Fuse into Adobe Photoshop, then we're going to pose it, light it, and render it. Once your character is complete in Adobe Fuse, then it's time to save it to the Creative Cloud library to import it into Photoshop. Give the model a name, and then save it to the appropriate folder. Let's assume this is going to be a comp layout for a lifestyle magazine, perhaps. Now switch to Photoshop and open up the Libraries panel. Open the appropriate folder, then drag and drop your new character into your working document. Open the 3D and Properties panels, below select the main object, and then access the various poses and animation presets in the Properties panel. You'll see you have a variety of categories to choose from for animations and poses. Simply choose one, scroll through the menu, and then click on the thumbnail to apply it to your character. Once you have selected a pose, you will need to start introducing background elements for the subject to interact with. In this case, we've got a wall element, and you can reposition and scale the texture, as well as repositioning the camera so that you can get the best angle for whatever shot you're going for. You can even continue to modify the character's face and head positioning right here inside of Photoshop using the Properties panel. Notice here you can move the head around of the subject as well as the eye positioning to get the most perfect positioning of the subject in your scene. Photoshop 3D gives you the ability to light your subject in a variety of ways with unprecedented control right down to the finished piece. You can think of it as lighting the subject while you're designing the final product, allowing you to make tweaks along the way at any time. Once it's done, you simply do a render, and there you have a full composite from Fuse to Photoshop. If you want to learn more about Adobe Fuse or Adobe Photoshop, and even download trial versions of each, be sure to go to adobe.com.